The death toll today climbed to 21 following yesterday's terror attack in Kenya. Among the victims, a 40-year-old American businessman who survived the September 11th attacks in New York. Deborah Patter reports from Nairobi. Here at the Chiromo Mortuary, grief is loud and unrelenting. These women try to offer support. Instead, they almost collapse under the weight of their sorrow. Among the dead, American Jason Spindler. His body brought here before being transferred to a private funeral home. Spindler was grabbing a quick bite to eat when gunmen burst into the luxury Nairobi complex. Behind me are the burnt-out cars where the Al-Shabaab militants stormed into this complex with firearms, grenades, blew it up and then rushed in, going from office to office. Spindler's staff were among those safely rescued. He was heading up a development agency in Nairobi. He had already had one brush with death, having survived 9-11. His father, Joseph Spindler, said he just happened to be late for work that day. He was coming out of the subway when uh, when the buildings were coming down, and then he was covered with all the dust. Not long after that, he gave up a high-powered Wall Street career to work in developing countries, a decision that ultimately led him to Nairobi on a late lunch break in a restaurant targeted by an Al-Shabaab suicide bomber. Spindler's parents are flying to Nairobi this week to collect his body. Monday would have been his birthday, and they say they still plan to celebrate his life, not mourn it. Jeff? Deborah, thank you very much.